What's up, everybody? It's me, Mo Parmat, back in the studio again. Um, I haven't been able to do any um in-store hunting lately, but um, I felt like putting a video out, and I figured what better to do a video with than all my super treasure hunts. Um, now I don't. I don't have a lot, um, but I do have a decent enough amount to, to fill up some air time. Plus, I've got a big announcement for a project that um, I'm working on that when it is done, come next spring, you guys are going to... I, I, I'd like to think you guys are really going to like it. But first, let's get... To the treasure hunts in chronological and sometimes case order first off um, you guys recently saw me um, or should I say saw this on video that I just acquired this from the last swap meet near my house this guy from 96 love that red um, then we jump up to 2003, the, um, <clears throat> Midnight Auto, I still got this guy, very nice, although I may be going to part with him soon. And, that, and, that, and that's a big maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, then, um, this is another one you recently got to see on film. Um, or should I say in another one of my videos. Um, the 2011 El Camino. But, upon reinspection, I noticed something a little funny about it. And... I want you guys to see this. This is an error. Check this out. Look at that window. I don't know when it happened or how, but I've got an error super treasure hunt. Um, uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't know how I missed that when I first showed it. But, oh, well, that's beside the point. Um, and, of course, those of you who have, the next one, those of you who have watched my videos for a long time now, um, remember how I reacted when I got this in a box from Tom Paul Fran. The 2012 Chevelle SS396. And, in case you're watching TPF, I still have the receipt and the protecto like you gave it to me. Okay. Uh, next up on the block. Uh, from, this is 2013. Um, 69 Camaro. Once again, loving that. Whoa, computer glitching. Computer, computer wagon. Um, I don't know if that transferred to you guys, but on my end, I saw the computer lagging a little. Um, then of course we start with the 2014s, the massive amount of them I have. Um, Chevelle. I knew I had to get me this one. Not only because of the dark purple color, but also I love 70 Chevelles. Um, then um, the next two are part of the big trade offer that I'm doing for a Superbird. Super. The Twin Mill. Show this once again. Since it is still part of my collection. And same story with this. Still in the collection, so I'll show it. 
Nova Station Wagon. Um, and then, of course, everyone knows me and my 83 Silverados. If you saw my last video, you saw the picture of the truck, which is the reason why I'm so obsessed with 83 Silverados. And if you missed that video, go check it out. Um, 83 Silverado. I had to get, had to acquire that piece. Um, and the third uh, super that's part of that trade deal that I still have on the table for anybody. Greenwood Corvette. Still part of the collection, so I'll show it. Um, and then we have the uh, my first ever wild super find uh, 69 Corvette I'm never getting rid of that one um, and then Impala and then so far the only two 2015 Supers I have, 8 Crate, had to grab me this boy, this bad boy, and of course, my most recent acquisition, the Plymouth. I want another one so I can crack that one open. Um, so just uh, bear with me for about 10 seconds here. Okay, and the uh, Super Show Off is done. Um, but I did say that there's a announcement I want to make. Um, first and foremost, the contest for the Frankenrado is on hold for I don't know how long. Um, some really critical family issues have arisen. And I'm just going to have to stop it where I'm at as far as the construction of that vehicle. Um, I am sorry. I know that there are some people out there that are really looking forward to that contest. But I'm sure you guys will all understand. Family comes first. Um, but um, I'm planning a little bit of a project for... Um, that you guys may remember for a while a little while back I was saying that I was stockpiling up on 83 Silverado cash bins. well I think the stockpile maxed out at about 11 of them and let's just say this um, there are two people that I know watch my videos they know what I'm planning but next spring, after I finish building it and can spray paint it next spring, I will debut to the world a project involving a bunch of those 83 Silverado castings. I'm not going to hint any more. But let me just put it to, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this much. I'll give you this much information. If you thought the original Frankenrado was bad at, B.A., I stopped myself there. Um, it ain't nothing. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I have to keep this one a top secret surprise. Um, so, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I've got nothing else to show as of yet, but that's okay. 
when when the boxes come in, they come in. Um. So, I'm pretty much I pretty much got to wrap this up because I got to start getting ready for work tonight. Um. But <clears throat> as always, it's me, Mopar Matt. I will see all of you later. Bye.